Now, Ibar finally made their La Liga debut uh, this weekend. It didn't look like it was going to happen, of course. They won the Segunda last season, uh, but it looked like they weren't going to be able to come up due to the really convoluted financial rules. They were never in debt. Um, but because they didn't have a high enough share value, they had to hurriedly get out a share issue, uh, raising nearly two million euros of capital, which with the help of fans from all over Europe and the world, they managed to do. And so they took the field in front of their 5,000 capacity stadium and they won against near neighbours, Real Sociedad, who of course in the Champions League last season. And they didn't steal it either. They played really well and uh, managed it with a fantastic free kick from uh, Javi Lado. You can read more about Ibar in a Sid Lowe's column in The Guardian this week. Well worth it, a fantastic story and it's got a great next step with them going to Atletico Madrid no less for their second game. Now it was a tale of two goalkeepers at La Rosa Leda. Uh, it should have been all about the Athletic Bilbao goalkeeper Gorka Iraizos who uh, scored a fantastic equaliser in the 95th minute. Fantastic header that any striker would have been proud of. Unfortunately it was chalked off. He couldn't understand why neither could the referee and linesman it seemed because they gave different reasons to why it was actually disallowed. So that meant Malaga won their first game. Iraizos also gave away the penalty that led to the winner by Luis Alberto on loan from Liverpool and making his debut from Malaga. At the other End. It was a really great match for Carlos Camani, who's been in the shadows since he arrived in 2012 from Espanyol. It looked like he would be again with Guillermo Ochoa, the Mexican goalkeeper, arriving this summer. But Ochoa was on the bench, Camani played, kept a clean sheet with a little bit of luck here and there, and then got an extended contract after the match to 2018. So a great Saturday for him. Now Munir is the next off the La Masia production line, the fabled La Masia production line, just 18, coming in for his full La Liga debut, rattling the crossbar and then scoring a great finish from uh, Ivan Rakitic's pass. And it was a really opportune moment for him to come through, making the most of the fact that Pedro had a dicky tummy and wasn't fit to start against Elche. Um, and he fitted in superbly well, Munir. He looked great in the UEFA Youth League last season, which is the sort of junior Champions League, scoring a fantastic goal from the halfway line. And it's a really great moment for him to come through because, of course, that transfer ban until January 2016 being confirmed. So getting the youth products coming through and Luis Enrique seen as a man to do that, of course, um, is even more important than it usually is. So very opportune moment for Munir to do that, both for the player and for the coach. Of course, Di Maria is on his way to Manchester United. Of course, a regret for Carlo Ancelotti. He never really wanted to lose him. He's so versatile, he can play in the front three on either wing or deeper in midfield, as he showed a lot in the second half of last season. And they really could have done with the sort of ingenuity that cracked open the Champions League final back in Lisbon in May against Cordoba on Monday. Madrid looking a little bit heavy legs and James Rodriguez not really being able to find the answer in, in the end it was a set piece that allowed Karim Benzema to break through and a net buster uh, from Cristiano Ronaldo um, in the dying minutes by which time uh, the Cordoba fans enjoying their first game in the top flight in 42 years making all the noise and the Madrid ones getting a little bit restless so there's still a need to find that balance without Di Maria. Now Simeone wasn't on the touchline of course, he's got simultaneous bans in Liga and Champions League now after that eight match ban for his little face cuddle on the fourth official during the Supercopa was handed down on Monday afternoon so at Rayo Vallecano he was watching from an executive box and it was his rather imposing assistant Herman Burgos who was directing operations from the sideline but there's no doubt that the spirit of Simeone lived on. Atletico looking a little heavy leg just like Real Madrid were in their opener early in the evening uh, but there's no doubt that that sense of meritocracy is really continuing with Burgos directing operations um, because the expensive signings from the summer, Mandzukic and Griezmann, as it wasn't going well in the second half, were both hooked for youth products, Saul and Hector, who really impressed in pre-season in a centre-forward position as well. So there's no doubt that while Simeone's on the sidelines, it will still be the same old Atletico. OK, well that's it for today. We'll be back uh, later in the week with the five things to look out for in next week's La Liga. But for the moment, tell us all about what you thought of the opening weekend of La Liga. Who was uh, your best team? For me, it was Ibar, obviously. What was your best goal? Uh, Cristiano Ronaldo obviously opening his account with a cracker. Click to subscribe here and you'll be the first uh, to see the next video uh, when it's up. But tell us what you think.